All right, guys, back out here at the haunted dump. Trav there, he's getting ready to extract some bottles. Buddy David up there is his first time out here. Chris is over there. We're all on the same line pretty much, digging the very bottom of the hill of the dump, trying to get some of the rolls. Some of the older stuff were rolled down to the bottom, so. We got kind of lucky. There was a groundhog at one time or some kind of animal that made like a little trench down the side of this hill. And we were all able to find one little cavity just enough to bust through to start our hole. Well, anyway, I have something cobalt right here in the frozen layer. I mean, it's it's frozen solid. So I'm going to try to take this chunk out, see if we can get it without breaking it. I don't know, but we're going to try to. Yeah, film it. Ooh. Should be able to pry it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think it's a Baltimore black dog. Yeah, that's what I think it is, too. I need like a little chisel or something. I'd let it sit in the sun. Let it sit in the sun for a while? Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like it's full. <laughs> and I got a soda under here, too. Let's go ahead and get it real quick. Here it is. Uh, what is I think it's a... Uh, Melanthes. Yeah. Real busted up, but what is it, Chris? Dr. Drake's fruit remedy. Nice, Dr. Drake's. Dr. Drake's. Heck yeah, it's gonna get good today, guys. All of us should get into some real good stuff today. So we'll see. You back Check it out, guys. I just had a lashes cylinder roll out of the ceiling there. It says lashes bitters company, New York. Chicago, San Francisco. It is early machine made, I'm pretty sure, but this is a nicer one. Sometimes the embossing isn't real good on them, but definitely is on this one. Let's get back to you. All right, guys, Corey just popped out a nice little Ed Bernard perfume out of Paris, New York. Pretty cool, blown in mold. Right around 1905, 1910. And he says he's got a milk bottle in the hole. Right there, check that out. One quart, be something crazy. Uh, uh, it's a new tri-state, but I mean, it's cool. One quart, new tri-state. No damage. Hopefully either. a Johnson or yeah. one of them Collins or something comes out oh, today. Oh, there's a little, a little dang in it. A little dang, not bad. No. All right, a couple bottles coming out already. Pulled out a, it says the, the Smith Brewing Company out of Johnstown, PA. Actually, it might be Youngstown. It is Youngstown, Ohio. Yeah, Youngstown, Ohio. I read it wrong. It is blown in mold. Nice little uh, blown in mold beer. Youngstown, PA. Cool. All right, guys, I just made it to the bottom here. I'm gonna fall down the hill first. About the about four, four and a half feet yeah. to the bottom here. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's really pretty. That is real pretty. Look, Corey just popped out a nice green granite ware pitcher. Let me zoom in on you. Yeah, man, that's beautiful. Heck yeah, look what I just popped out of the hole, guys. No embossing on this one, unfortunately. But good golly, let me hold you up in the sunlight here. Look at the color on that gorgeous blob. Amber blob, what in the world? It says on the base of it, IG Company, 
IG company. Where's that from? You guys comment down below. It does have the Baltimore loop seal. So definitely American, but that is just awesome right there. Hopefully one comes out with some embossing on it. There you go. Amber blob for the Trav. A little frost stiller. I'm still waiting on that cobalt one right there to thaw out so I can get her out. David's right up here above me. Starting his hole. He's got a couple more feet to get to the bottom to hit his good layer. But he's almost there. We're going to keep working at it, guys. See you back. All right, guys, we're down here with Chris. Check out his progress so far. We've only been here maybe 45 minutes. He's got a couple cobalt inks, a Bromos, Gilbert Brothers, a couple hair tonics, some meds. And uh, he says he thinks he has a little teapot or something in here. We're gonna go live with him. Started out with that, that's something different. What is that, a little singer? I don't think it's a singer. No, it ain't, what is it? It's a powder. Solvent, lubricant. What? Rem oil. Huh. Let me see it. There you go. There's that one. I just dug oh, it it's Remington. Yes, sir. Rem oil. Remington. Remington oil. That's a gun oil. That's a nice one, Chris. Damn right, right it is, brother. All right, man. Here we go. Hold on a minute. Oh, sorry. Powder <laughs> solvent, solvent, lubricant, rust preventing. That that's a tough bottle, Chris. Nice one. I like it. Pretty blue too. I've never dug one. I really like that's that. That's a really good one. Heck yeah, Remington oil bottle. Yeah. Let's go under here and check out this little picture back in here. Oh, the handle broke is off broke. of it. That uh, gummit. It's pretty though. Yes, sir. Got some yeah. nice fancy on it. What's that up above it? One more up above it. It's embossed. I can feel embossing. It is. Pulled out very far. Where's it out of? Oh, well, it's a Dr. Caldwell. Dr. Caldwell's. Out of Monticello, Illinois. So there's the. Or Monticello. The three. That ain't too bad. Yeah. A nice little pocket. Nice little pocket. Heck yeah, Remington oil though. That's, I like that. That's real neat, man. That's a good find. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, guys. See you back. Trav is down here. Says he's got a mason in the hole. Right there, oh, right off the bottom is. laying. See how it says mason across the bottom? Yeah. Weird. But I think it's ready. I think it's a ball, isn't it? Look at that bottle right Yeah, right it. under it. See, look, there's another one. Oh, it's broken. That's a big one right there. It's cracked all the way across there. Let's try to get it out. Is that a Farney's? I don't know, maybe. You're the daggone Farney's king. Yeah. It is. Let's see if I can get this thing out. It still has a lid on it. It's stuck on that other bottle right on the tip of it. Why does everything got to be so complicated to me? But you can see I'm working right off the bottom. There's bottom there. And it's literally laying on the bottom. Right with them other bottles. Nobody home. Yeah, just a big old sick mare. Big, big chemical in there. nice shape on it yeah it was a it was a one that is a strange looking ball one quart ball mason had to drop all a all the way the yeah all the way down the bottom there it's weird that gum unfortunately it does have that big break yeah. out of the back would have been a nice color too all right, all right. Well, see you back all right guys live down in my hole and uh check it out i think i got a baby doll head Sticking out right there, just working right off the bottom. Looks like a little boy, maybe. Here it comes. There he goes, rolling out. Yeah, look at him. Looks like he, I just woke him up. Look at that. 
His eyes are still half open. Just woke that little boy up. <laughs> yeah, see y'all back. Check this out, guys. I just raked this out a minute ago. It says Belborn. It's got eagles embossed on it. It's embossed on all four sides. Check that out. Pretty cool. Patent applied for. Awesome. I'm not even, but maybe two and a half feet under the ground on the bottom here. Travis is four, four and a half feet right over there with David. I mean, if, as I go down this way to the left towards Travis, it gets a little deeper, but I'm up in this high stuff and I have a lot of bottles going on. You guys can see right here, I have what looks like a duckies. I'm gonna try to set the camera up somewhere. I'll dig this thing out for you. Pretty good. Here it comes. Oh yeah, definitely a Duffy's. Check it out. Duffy's Malt Whiskey out of Rochester, New York. Heck yeah, not bad. Nice color to it too. Awesome. See back. I'm into a nice pocket. All right, I think Travis finally found the good pocket. I have, here. look, I got a monster wine bottle right there sticking out. I got a PJ Ritter and what looks to be an Amber Bitters right there in the hole, guys. I think I got most of it uncovered. There's the top of it there. I think it should be ready. It's definitely a lash. It's probably the blood purifier. I hope it is. Yeah, you're in that rust layer now. It's got nice bottles in it. Yeah, it does. Let's see, there she is. Lashes, there's kidney, and liver there. bitters. Yep, the best cathartic and blood purifier. Heck, yeah, that's the first amber lashes out of here. Yep. It's got a little lip ding. But other than that, she looks nice. Heck, yeah. See what that looks like outside the hole. Hold that up in the sunlight. That's real nice. Oh, yeah, it's like yellow. Heck yeah. Nice. All right. Get back to you. All right. Pretty sure we got another Duffy's right here showing. It is already ready to come out. Sure is. Well, let it be a Baltimore one. Nah, Rochester, that's all right though. Yeah, another Duffy's. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's my bottle pal so far, guys. There's Duffy's, two Duffy's there. Aqua Lysol, I pulled out. This is a bigger variation than I, the one I dug a few videos ago. Um, was considered a poison, I'm pretty sure. Real nice color on this uh, Milk and Mag. There's a little crack in it. But Trav's got something really cool over here. Try to get over here to him without falling down the hill. Guys, it's a glass hourglass. 
and it still has the sand in it and it still is transferring to the other side. Look at that. That's cool. Isn't that wild? It's got pink sand in it and it still works. I would have had wood around it, like a wooden. Some kind of a base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might have to refurbish some kind of a base. That's cool, but... real thin. Yeah, it's so neat. Feel that thing. It's like a bubble. Yeah, <laughs> that is cool. Heck yeah. I like it. Small little weird things like that. Yeah, that's real, real neat. You can see it in there. I'm going to try to get it on video. Transferring over. See it pouring down in there, guys. Real cool. Heck yeah, Trev. As the sands of time pass. Uh, so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs>check this out guys i brought i brought david over here beside me because this layer that's up in here that i'm hitting it like i said it ain't real far down but it's producing a lot of stuff and uh, i just pulled out a mason jar was way back in there i couldn't really see what it was so i pulled it and check this out this is my first time digging one of these bad boys a tudor rose <laughs> wow what a color too it's like teal oh my gosh that's sick. Yeah. No, it does have embossing on the other side too. I just couldn't see it. Yeah, it's kind of faint. It says Mason. Mason's patent, 1858. Yeah. Wow, what a color. Yes. All right. See All right, back. so I kind of know what this bottle is. I've seen one before. But right up under here, fell out of the roof. Oh my, yeah, it's sick. It is a Cuban or Cuban for the hair. Wicked amber hair tonic. Check that thing out. Wow. What a bottle. Cuban for the hair. Real fancy. Awesome. There she is. All right. Get back to you. All right, David's got a soda in the hole down here. Y'all can see it there. Look how blue that is. Yeah, it's a really nice color on it. That's a Coke. That's a straight side Coke. Yes. Heck yeah. Wait. Nice, Heck man. Yeah. yeah. It's a real dark aqua one, too. It's Look pretty. Look at that, Trav. Oh, Look how man. blue that is. I knew that said Coca-Cola, baby. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Ring neck. Give it to Corey so you can show the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is a pretty Coke. Look at the color on it. It's real dark aqua. Wow, what a bottle. Toss it downhill. <laughs> First <laughs> Coke for David. What a bottle. Nice. Heck yeah, man. I'm real happy for you. Good awesome. Job, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> that is beautiful. Heck yeah. Light? Yeah, it's a it's uh -huh. a nice color too. Yeah, heck yeah. The Man. dark aqua ones are harder to find. Pretty All right. Pretty. Thank you. That's awesome. Heck yeah, man. I'm up under here crawling back in the bank here. I have another hole directly like right up there on the flat. And I was doing real good in that hole as well. I'm right below it. And uh, check it out under there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Another Duffy's. You can see another bottle sticking out back in there behind it out of the wall. But... Check it out. Yeah. Another Duffy's malt. Wow. I'm pulling a ton of these things. Duffy's malt whiskey. Rochester, New York. Number three. Get back to you. Check out this little vase thing that David just pulled out. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Real pretty like pinks and reds and i think it even has some fancy on the bottom of it yeah it does awesome that's really cool all right guys i have not done too much videoing today because i've been doing some tunneling 
but I did just pop out a really, really nicely embossed Phoenix extracts with the Phoenix bird on it. A really nice bowl. It actually has like a little gold gilted handle. One I'm missing there. All kinds of flower designs and stuff on it. Up here, this is a real crier. Look how big that dog is. It says bottled at Chatta Chatelaney maybe. Chatelaney Springs. Look how big that would have been. That would have been like a five gallon big old jug. I got a amber lashes, a amber blob, a real nice ball mason, polar water, LT carpenter, two of the cobalt black dyes out of Baltimore, Father John's, a Huberol brewery out of Cincinnati, Sloan's liniment, two inks, Bromos, ton of these, uh, ton of these blood vials or test tubes or whatever they are some kind of little moon thing there and then i'm gonna take you down in my hole a lot of you's gonna have something to say about this i'm sure but if you were here digging these holes you'd know exactly how frozen this stuff is but i've been down under here digging all day long we're gonna go down in my little cave check it out isn't that neat I'm about 12 feet back in here and it is not collapsing guys I've been up top I've been jumping up and down on it. I tried to get it to collapse check out right there I got lashes bitters lashes bitters in the hole baby yeah let's get it I think she's ready I uncovered most most of it laying right off the bottom too Right in that clay. Right in that clay she is. Let's see if I can get my finger in the top of it here and get her. There she is. There she comes. Yeah. That's a nice one too, guys. Check that out. Ugh. Sorry if the video is a little shaky. I'm down under here recording by myself. But look at that in the light there. Real nicely embossed lashes, bitters company. New York, Chicago, San Francisco. Heck yeah, that's nice. That's a nice one right there, guys. Sweet. I'm real happy about that one. Looks cool laying next to the lantern. But yeah, I'm just going to keep on working at this darker layer right under all this lighter ash. Uh, see back if anything else cool, cool comes out. So, I don't know anything about this bottle yet. Never seen one before. This is actually a Dr. Rudox. It says, homeopathic cough cure. Or no, homeopathic cough and croup syrup. And it could be local. We're thinking it might be. And if it is, we've never seen this one before. But yeah, really cool little med. Check this out, guys. David just got out of his hole and he saw something fall up under there and it ended up being a nice, probably like medium sized C.H. Holtzman, nice size druggist bottle out of Cumberland. Heck yeah, man, that's awesome. Good day for you, that Coke bottle is insane. Real nice dark Real aqua. Real good day. Probably gonna pick around for a minute longer and we're probably gonna head out. What's up guys? Creek Diggers coming to you uh, Thursday morning. We're back out here at what we're calling the haunted dump with my buddy David. We got Corey right here behind him, 
and then Chris is just a little bit further up the hill. We're just working this uh, this layer. There's like a nice shelf running down the side of this hill here, but we're we're picking up right where we left off on Tuesday. So we are just getting here. Corey's digging all kinds of stuff up there, hollering. What do you got? Flip you around real quick and let's go up there and see. So David's, you know, taking over right where he left off. Here's my hole. I'm gonna have to collapse all this because it goes way back in there, like 15 feet. And uh, it's like 57 degrees today. Real nice, warm day. So hopefully I'm able to collapse all this, at least on the side of this hill anyway, so I can go up in this mound area. I think it's gonna be real good to me. Then I got all this to the right undug. We'll walk up here a little ways. Check out everybody's progress so far. You can see all the discard piles, bottles everywhere. Broken block letter Coca-Cola. Here's David working on this hole. You can see the ground is now thawed out enough to where tunneling is going to be kind of dangerous after, you know, probably three or four feet in. So we're going to have to be a little more cautious. Looks like this tree right here is getting ready to come down. So watch your head on that, David. Corey's up here. Yeah, tell him maybe first privy tomorrow. Yep. First privy. First privy tomorrow, guys. We we went earlier, probed out a real nice 1850s, 1860s permission, and uh, found them within like 10 minutes of being there. We've gotten real good at it. Is that a bottle? Piece of metal. Oh, a piece of metal. Mm -hmm. There's a bottle. No, it is. No. Slick druggist. Uh -huh. Pull that piece of metal out. Right yeah, it is. Corey's Black, in a nice yeah, bottle stove, there. Some kind of stove polish. Black cat. Yeah. Black cat stove polish. Very common out of this, out of our area anyway. We dig tons of them. But you can see, he's probably on the side of this hill right here, which is like kind of the end part of the dump. The dump is only 18 inches right here, Travis. Where, where Chris is at, it's only 18 inches deep. I'll run a pair here in a second, but yep, everybody's just getting started out, so good luck, brother man. Whoop. Shimmy across the side of the hill here. Look at that, guys. It might be close to two foot, but on the slope. You're on bottom right That's there? Play. Yes, sir. Straight bottom. Yep. So you can see, this is what we call a jut out, right off the side of an old road. You can see how it's a big mound area that's all dump and we're basically right here on the bottom part of it where the earliest part of the dump would have rolled down and we're going in so it's going to get deeper as we go in you can see chris is right here at the end so as he goes in it's going to get deeper for him as well good luck brother man thank you sir try to make some videos for me that's right so i don't have to keep coming across this hill <laughs> and then we'll just combine everything but here we are guys on the side of the hill today spending the day with the creek digger boys all right stay tuned for the action guys check this bottle david just popped out sweet little amber mary t goldman st paul minnesota that was a hair tonic early blown in mold cork top right around 1890s 1905 Sweet, early, fine, brother. Nice and bossy on that one, too. Right. Heck yeah, all right, guys. Guys, check this out. So, Tuesday, my hole started right here. This is where I was tunneled. This is what I've done for the last hour and a half, is bust through this frozen crap and whip my butt real bad. Haven't even really got to do too much. I've just been, there's my wall right there. I'm still three feet under still got to bust a little bit out but i'm almost back to where the, my wall was on tuesday when i ended under here this is how far back i had tunneled do not recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing and you have monitored the ground conditions and the weather and all that but check this out just pulled out an incredible little flask this is a diamond weave quarter pint whiskey flask hip flask check that out blown in mold cork top 
beautiful pattern on that bad boy. Looks to be in really good condition. Just dropped out as I'm working my way back. I got a ton of clean out to do, a little more busting to do, and then I'm going to actually get started on my hole. But all right, that's a really great find. See you back. All right, guys, check this out. Corey just down over the hill started a new hole he said up there where he dug that sweet tudor rose he dug into his old hole so that's right out but that. yeah check out the nice supply on that thing put your hand behind it yeah look at the nice supply behind that bottle guys Woo! that's nice early probably 70s 80s and check it out it's got a nice seal on it l What'd you say it was? Pernad or something like that. Pernod, Pernad. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. It's got a star on it. Heck yeah, brother. That's a nice one. Nice sealed wine that we haven't dug before. It is starting to rain. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day, but it's not bad enough to keep it's us sloppy. away. We're going to keep at it. Today. All right, guys. See you back. Hey guys, I was digging, beautiful green stopper popped out. It does have a little bit of damage on the bottom, but look how pretty that thing is. It's hard to get the color, you know, let sun out, but man, that's beautiful. Anything else comes out, we'll see y'all back. All right guys, I finally made it to my wall. Check this out, this is where I started today, right here, I had a little hole going back in this monster cave and I busted all this out over the last hour and a half made it back to my wall there just started digging Corey says croc in the hole croc in the hole he's yelling so let's go down here below me and check out this croc in the hole yeah. Corey's Mr. Steamy over here. We'll pull a bottle out of it first. Alright. It's a cup. A little drinking glass. Ready? Here it comes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice little freaking fruit crock there. Heck yeah, buddy. Nothing in it? Nope. Nice. Yeah, it is right nice around the turn of the century. Probably what about a half gallon? Maybe. Half gallon? Yeah. Half gallon little fruit jug for the Wellens. Nice, great pickup down here in the new hole he just started. Heck yeah! I think it's gonna. You can see he just made bottles. it to the bottom, the and he's just gonna be working into there. this mound that I was showing you guys. Just some bottles in there. Yeah, the groundhog. Hopefully, it was a collector. And had a good taste, but yeah, Corey's gonna keep working, guys. All right. I'll put down what See you back. Hey guys, I haven't been pulling the phone out a whole lot because it's raining pretty good, but I think this is my fourth marble for the day. Nice blue Bennington. Check that guy out. the spots all right see y'all back guys we're down here live in Corey's hole and this scumbag eater has two bitters right there look there was one bitter sticking out and then right above it has another bitter. bitters they're ready all right here it comes That's a is it hostetter yeah nice man stomach bitters Check that out. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Lucky dog. There's number one, guys. Here comes number two. I think it's a Hostetters, too. Yep. Two Hostetters. Two Hostetters? Yeah. What in the <laughs> world? Two Hostetter pocket. Hold them up together. My there. luck has been just Eat absolutely scum. Look at that, guys. Heck yeah, that's a nice thumbnail, too. I found a little 
That's awesome, man. All right, guys. We'll see you right back. Still up in this high layer into a bunch of iron junk and the coolest little baby sad iron I ever seen came out. Check that out, guys. Heck yeah. All right, anything else comes out, we'll see you back. Hold it up. Daggus phone's got crazy zoom on it. My mustache is Elk Tanning Company? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Oh, no. Heck yeah. I'm in age like double diamond. Sorry, it's so shaky, guys. It's raining. I was trying to zoom. That's nice. Elk Tanning Company. And then over here, I built a wall going down into my hole right here. That's because I like to be secluded from everybody. And then right down here, Dave is working right beside me. You can see. Let me zoom back out if I possibly can here. Here we go. Dave is working back beside me. Look at that. He just popped out. What is that? Is it a huge stopper? Is it a perfume bottle? It is a perfume bottle. Super fancy ground lip screw top. Dang, that thing's nice, brother. Let's have a little marking, it looks like. Heck yeah. That I found, was put, raking around there a little bit and found this little. Was that a Nuxated iron? I believe so, yeah. yeah. a little iron pills bottle. Yeah. And a sweet ground lip perfume. Heck yeah, brother, man. Sweet. All right, guys, we're going to keep working at it. We'll see you back. Hey guys, got a bottle in the hole. Looks to me kind of like a lashes bitters, but I ain't too sure. Let's see if we can pull it together. I do feel embossing. Yep. That would be my first complete lashes bitters out of this place. Every other one I got's been busted up. We'll see y'all back. Guys, Corey's hollering again. So he just had, is that Farney's no good there? No, it's a crab. Uh, follow the trail bottles that, down this hole. This thing hole. right here, that, there's a Conwellsville Brewing right there in that. Oh yeah, Yakagani mm -hmm. from Connellsville. He popped out a Palm Olive Shampoo. BJ Johnson Soap Company. There you guys go. <laughs> For the Corey Wellens. Out of Milwaukee and Toronto. Very neat little bottle. And then he says he's got a mason jar that just fell out in the hole. There right there she is. Look at that. What do we got? The gem. The gem? Uh -huh. Oh, nice. It just, it just says gem. It just says gem? Oh, it's whittled to death. I can feel it. Oh, man. Heck yeah, brother. Corey is on the mason jars lately. Look at that scum eater. Wow. That's a beautiful one quart. I don't think there's any damage. Or is that a pint? Oh man, it's got that freaking almost. Look at the color on it. It's like sky blue. That's blue. Yeah, it's pretty. Look at that gem mason jar, guys. Heck yeah, brother, man. Sweet oh, ground lip yeah. screw top. Just to catch it. And a ketchup bottle. Alright, I'm gonna get back up in my hole. Man, killing it today. See you back. Guys, working down in my hole. I didn't get this one live. It just popped out as I was raking across the bottom. Check it out. The Max Honky Chemical Company. Nice 16 ounce embalming fluid bottle. This is the only side that's embossed on this particular variation, but I know that's what it is because I've dug a few of them. Very cool, though. Small little pile right here going on so far. Nothing crazy. A little whisker dye. That diamond cross or that diamond weave flask, probably the nicest one that I have so far today, but I think I'm going to get into some nice stuff. You got something, David? Real nice green slip. 
by cheese. Real nice teal oh, color man. to yeah, it. Yeah, that is nice teal. That would have been a sweet medicine bottle. Probably a Dr. Kilmer swamp root, I would imagine. That's what I was thinking. But, all right, guys, we're going to keep working at it. Chris is just right up the hill there making some videos for us. You'll see those in between. There's my nice hole right there. I got all of it knocked down to where there's pretty much no overhang. I'm going to keep working that bottom layer. Looks like there's a lot of glass about to come out. See that? Yeah, Trav's got a bitters in the hole. This is going to be, both of us have pulled bitters today. Bitters in the hole it's and crazy. the bitters right there, guys. You can see this was underground Tuesday. Yeah, yep, there's David. And we're just working this wall, the shelf right here. And right here we got amber bitters in the hole, baby. I don't know if it's full. I haven't dug it completely out, but it definitely feels like it's full to me. I don't see any embossing on it just yet. I think it's a lashes. Yeah. Pretty sure. You're in a lashes, lashes layer. I'm in a hostetter. I haven't dug any. I've never dug a hostetter before. But I have dug the lashes. Oh, you're in that crunchy layer. Now. That is a good layer. That's what I was pulling in bottles out of at crunch. Yeah, it looks cool. Boom. Yep. Another real bright one too. This one just says lashes bitters. This is a different variation than the one I dug Tuesday. Super yeah, clean. Yeah, lashes too. tonic bitters. Didn't it? Yeah, that was real nice and clean. Hold it up in the sun for us. Check that out, guys. Heck yeah, real nice light honey amber. Lashes Ooh. bitter, baby. Lashes bitter for true. Keep working at it, guys. See you back. David said he's got a soda under here somewhere. I can't quite see it with the camera yet, but. Oh man, what is it? he's the Coca-Cola man. If that thing's water? mint, no, he's got a hobble skirt. Oh, a hobble, 1915? Yeah, buddy. Oh my God. Ah, uh, lip chip. No lip chip. gum. that's a rare one though. Ice What's blue What's the base too. say, two? What's on the base? Yep, two. Number nice. Two? Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. That's a nice pull, bro. Sweet. Yeah. Yep. Coca-Cola man, he's getting them. All right, we'll get back to you. Back in this same pit, and I just pulled a chunk of that wall over to this side, and I don't know if you can see that one and that one. I don't think there's any more, but it sure seemed like a little pocket of marbles come out. Let's check them out. Uh, clay broken half on that one. Another clay one. Two clay marbles. One's a shovel scoop. We'll see y'all back. All right, check this out. Trav has a milk in the hole. Be something crazy. I got a five bottle pocket. Right yeah, he's here, got a five bottle pocket. We still ain't dug a crazy milk out of here full yet. There's some little meds up on top of it. We know they're in here because he's dug a little broken. Bottle. Come on. That looks like a different one, maybe. Uh, oh, it's just a regular tri-state. It's not a new tri-state. It's a regular tri-state. That's the earlier one. Sanitary it? milk. I think so. I got a couple bottles showing here too. I mean, I'm gonna think. Yeah, probably turn of the century. Nice. 1910. There's one. Tri-state. Yeah. Soda back there, maybe. I'm not sure what all these are. This is a little condiment mustard or something. Yeah, a little shaker or something. This one right here, laying on the bottom. Laying right on the very bottom. The beer? That thing's in there. Fudge. I think it's just a beer from Tom Romeo. Let's see what else we got hiding up in here. There's something real fancy right there. What is that? I think this is a soft bottle. Yeah. You're Pretty getting on that layer though. Yeah, you're getting in that good layer. There's a ton of glass up in here, guys. 
Absolute ton of it. I don't know what kind Probably of dig a couple of Duffy. Bottle that is. <laughs> it costs. Yep. A little sauce, a little sauce like a Great Atlantic Tea Company. Could be a couple of Duffy's or something real fancy right here. It's going uphill real fast, isn't it? It's going up pretty fast, yeah. Here's this little guy. Oh, uh, that was broken. Oh, nice cut glass cup. Let's see if I can get this out. Dang, come on. It's got a root grown down in it or something. Maybe a little longer than what you think. You think it's a beer? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, oh, it's a green one. Yeah, green. Green Cumberland. It's got a little bit of damage. There. Yeah. Yeah, five bottle pocket. Right there. So Thanks you got some over I there? I got two showing here. All right. right there. I'm going to go under the hole here, guys. Come over here with David. Maybe. Got one down here lower. A slick. Yep. Yep, just a slick. Uh, just an old condiment. Yep. Oh, we got another. Nope. Part of a crock. Yeah, yeah that's These are getting into some nice looking layers. All right. I get back to you. Hey guys, check this out. Down here at the haunted dump. Got a full bottle getting ready to come out. I hope it's full. It seems full. It's a big bottle. I thought it was a milk at first. There it's loose. Pop it out. Herbo, I believe. Yep, Herbo. Nice pull. Alright, we'll see y'all back. Back out here today. Um, really cold. It was supposed to be 60 degrees. We were supposed to dig a privy today. But, um, yeah, we ain't digging no privy today. It snowed all night. Rained a little bit this morning. So we're back out here at the dump. We just did a little bit of scouting. Didn't find anything. Uh, Trav jumped in the hole. He's already got a nice bottle here. What is it again? I was just taking the top down right here, and, you know, knocking it down, getting back to the wall. And uh, this bottle just fell out, and I flipped it over and looked at it. It's a Dr. Miles heart treatment. Check that out. That's a pretty tough bottle to find right there. It's machine made. Probably 1910, 1915 era. Yeah. Sweet. Real happy about that first bottle out of the hole. See you back. Check this out, guys. I just popped this out, and normally these little tubes, I really don't think much of them because we dig a ton of them, but this one's got in glass label. Check this thing out. This is probably one of the coolest little tubes I've ever dug. It says foreign company manufacturers menthol inhaler. What? just kind of cured everything didn't it all right cool get back to his all right you guys see it jar in the hole this is my jar dump apparently come on be something i feel embossing yeah mason's patent oh it's got a crack well yeah big crack in it Laying on the bottom. Typical. Oh, get back Check to this you. out, guys. Trav's got a green mat or something in the something hole. Something super green sticking out. Look at the color on that. Uh, we can go ahead and get it out of there. All up in that rust mess right there. What is that? Oh, there it is. Come on, say something to me, baby. Oh, oh it's yeah. Look at that. Yep, it's one of them Reese chemicals. Reese chemical. Yeah. Internal. One teaspoon before each meal and bedtime. Reese Chemical Company, Cleveland, Ohio. Nice, Trav. Good golly. 
blown in mold cork top. Take that out and hold it out in the sun for them. That's incredible right there. The color on that thing. Nice. Yes, sir. Ha ha. See you back. All right, so I just rolled a poison out there a second ago, and it's got that real nice Illinois glass shine to it. Almost like a gold color. And uh, right after that, I popped out this. I'm not too sure what these are. These are maybe some kind of stove polish or something. Maybe a poison. It might I don't be know. a poison blown in mold pretty cool little bottle it's got ridges up here at the top and at the bottom but here's your poison trav's got a vapor crassoline larger size blown in mold too and nice check one. out this real yeah, little, little bowl droopy bowl <laughs> <laughs> not neat for 1880s it's pretty cool heavy glass yeah All right. killing it <laughs> All right, guys, I'm working. You can see I have some bottles sticking out in there, but I'm working right off the bottle. Not a whole lot of stuff today, but definitely quality. Look what I just popped out. This gorgeous, real fancy gold gilted. It's got little windows all over it with roses. Just a beautiful, maybe an urn or a lamp of some sort. That is really awesome. Looks to be no damage on it. Should clean up beautiful. Oh, I pulled that off the top of the ground. Oh, that yeah. had like some a picture of a building or yeah. something on it behind the glass. Like the one that's on your ashtray. Yeah, right? gum. That's so cool. But check that out, guys. Oh, that's the Washington Chris just Monument. pulled an amber Chessie Bros. That's the Washington Monument. Right that is awesome. See you back. Guys, Chris has something in the hole down here, right down in there. He says it's got a ton of embossing on it. <laughs> Hopefully, it's full for you, buddy. I sure hope it is. Turn your hat to the side. There you go, that'll work. There was a lid with it, I believe. Is it a jar? Oh, it's a flackish jar, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a flackish jar. It's got bowls awesome. and stuff on it, I bet. That's Grab awesome, it. man. <laughs> With the lid too, that's that's impressive right there, Chris. Look at that, guys. Like Flackish Brothers fruit jar with the closure. That's tough. Heck yeah, that's a nice, nice find right there, buddy. Cool, sweet. Heck yeah. See you back, guys.